Hi friends, how's everyone today? Hope everyone's doing good. I have some fun activities for us today. So in your binder, you should have this paper and it says colorful shoes on the top. And actually this goes along with the Pete the Cat story. It's called, I love my white shoes. And it's a really cute story. And I know a lot of my friends love this story because Miss Becky has read it to you a lot. And remember in the story how Pete the cat kept stepping in different things and every time he stepped in something different, it would change his shoe color. Like when he stepped in the blueberries, his shoe turned blue. So if you want to go on YouTube and watch that story later, you can go ahead and do that. But in this, you'll have, um, there's all different cards of different things. There's on the cards. They have um, food and different things on there. And then there are these shoe cards that go with that. So if you want to go ahead and get that out, and we're going to play this game with this. So I'm going to bring you down here so we can kind of see what we're doing. All right, friends. So here is a picture of some blueberries. So what color shoe do you think, if Pete the cat stepped in blueberries, what color do you think his shoe would turn? Do you think it would turn red? No, I don't think so either. How about purple? Is Becky's favorite color? Nope, I don't think his shoe would turn red. How about blue? If he stepped in blueberries, do you think his shoe would turn blue? Yes, you're right. Let me get another one. How about strawberries? What color do you think his shoe would turn if he stepped in strawberries? Do you think his shoe would turn black? You're right, it would not turn black. How about red? Yes. It would turn red. Okay. How about a banana? What if Pete the cat would step in a banana? Would his shoe turn green? You're right. No, it wouldn't turn green. Would it turn yellow? Yes, you're right. It would turn yellow. How about if Pete the cat stepped in on a green clover? What color do you think his shoe would turn if he stepped on a green clover? Do you think it would be black? Does that match the green? You're right. That doesn't seem like that would be right. How about the green shoe? Yes. You're right, those are the shoes that match. How about if Pete the cat stepped in, ooh, chocolate. What color do you think his shoe would turn if he stepped in chocolate? Yes, you're right, it would probably turn brown, just like the chocolate. Let's do a couple more. Let's see what else I have here. Ooh, how about grapes? What would happen if he stepped in grapes? I think the grapes, first of all, would get all squishy. And what color do you think his shoe would turn? You're right, it would turn purple. How about, oh no, what if he stepped in mud? What color would his shoe turn if he stepped in mud? Yeah, it would turn all brown. Well, what if Pete the cat had all that on his shoes and then he stepped in some water? What do you think his shoe would do then? Yeah, I think his shoe would turn white. The water might wash all the colors off. So you can do the game that way or another way if you want to do it is you could put all your pieces out on the table and I'll just do a few of them so you can see friends. And you could match the shoes that way too. 
So I have the blueberries up here. And I think the blue shoe would go with the blueberries. I have the grapes up here. Purple shoe would go with the grapes. And what color did we say they would turn if he stepped in water? Yes, white. And what about if he stepped in cherries? What color do you think his shoes would turn if he stepped in cherries? Do you think they would be black? That's silly. You're right, they would be red. So go ahead and um, play this game today. It's actually a lot of fun. And if you have time later, go ahead and online and read Peep the Cat, The White Shoes. I wish I had the book here with me because that's one of my favorite books to read, but I don't have it here. So go ahead and look it up and watch it because it's really cute and it goes right along with this game. So for our next activity in your packet, there is a game called Hat on a Rat. And this is a little book that we get to make. So you have to cut out all of the pieces. And the first page says, hat on a rat. And then it says, top hat on a rat, soft hat on a rat, cap on a rat, pirate hat on a rat, and then a party hat on a rat. So for this activity, all you need is your scissors and your crayons. And if you wanna get your art box, I'm gonna grab mine right here and get some glue out. So in your art box, you should have all those things. I'm gonna get mine out. I have my glue and my crayons. And then you also need your scissors. Miss Becky already cut hers out though, but you can get your scissors out and go ahead and cut those out. And I'm gonna bring you down here so you can see what we're doing. So we're gonna look at all these different pictures of the rats because they have all different kinds of hats on. There's a party hat and there's a top hat on this one. So we're gonna match all these hats to go with our book and then we're gonna put our book together and you can go ahead and color your rat. So, you want to get this out and do this with me go ahead and on the first page it says hat on a rat by so i'm going to go ahead and write my name on there let me bring you down so you can see everything i'm doing here so i'm going to write my name right there on my paper and You can go ahead and color it any way you want. You can go ahead and color all around it or just color the rat. I'm just gonna color my rat right now just to save a little bit of time, but um, you can color yours however you want. So I'm gonna color my rat and we should always try to stay in the lines when we color, right friends? We'll make sure that we do that. Okay, and then what kind of hat do you think this rat has on on his head? You know what this hat would be called on his head? Yeah, it's called a top hat. Okay, so that'll be the first part of the front of your book, hat on a rat. So the next one I'm going to get is it says pirate hat on a rat. So I'm gonna get my little rat pictures here and I'm gonna line them up here. Just hope you can see them. And out of these rats, friends, which one do you think has a pirate hat on out of all these hats? Do you think that looks like a pirate hat? No, how about this one? Yep. Look, he has a little pirate on his hat. So I'm gonna get my glue and glue that on there. And you can color it if you want before or after you glue it on. I'm just gonna color mine right now. And what do you think about his pirate hat? 
I think it's a really nice hat he has on. So we're gonna color his pirate hat. So this will be the first part of our book, Hat on a Rat, and then the next page will be the pirate hat. All right, so then the next one says cap on a rat. So we have to find our rat here that has the ball cap on. Have you ever worn a ball cap before? Sometimes we wear them if we're playing sports or sometimes we just wear them to wear them. Does this look like a ball hat? No, I don't think it does either. How about that one? Yes, that's the ball hat. So I'm gonna take it and glue it onto my book. And I'm gonna color his hat. I think I'm gonna color his hat green. What do you think, friends? What color are you gonna color your ball hat on your rat? So I'm gonna go ahead and color that green. I'm going to color my rat. And then we'll have another part of our book done. Okay, so there's my hat with it, our rat with his ball hat. So our next, our next um, one says soft hat on a rat. What do you think a soft hat looks like, friends? What do you think a soft hat would look like? I think a soft hat would be something that we might wear out in the snow. So let's see. I told you earlier this was a top hat. Do you think this would be the soft hat? Yes, Miss Becky thinks so too. So I'm going to glue it on. How many of you got to go play in the snow yesterday? Did anyone get to do that and put your soft hat on your head and your coat and your shoes? Yeah, it was a nice day to do that if you got a chance. So I'm gonna color his hat blue and then color my rat. Yeah, this rat has the soft hat on. Okay, friends, we have two left. Okay, there's my rat with my top hat. We have two left. Let's see what I have next. I have a paper that says top hat on a rat. And Miss Becky already told you what that looks like. So this will be our rat with the top hat. Have any of you ever seen a top hat before? It's a hat that looks like this and you wear it and sometimes people wear it if they're going to a special special event, maybe like a wedding or something like that. So that's the top hat. And try to always stay in the lines. Becky's trying to stay in the lines when I color my rat. And I'm gonna color his hat black. There's the top hat on the rat. And I only have one left, so that means I already know which one it is. It says party hat on a rat. Have it, any of you ever worn a party hat before at your birthday? Miss Becky has before. I've worn one, and they're a lot of fun. We get to wear them at birthday parties usually. So I'm going to color my party hat. And I'm going to color my rat. And that will make our book all done. I'm gonna glue it on here and I'm gonna show you what our book, what my book, look, book looks like, okay? So bring it up here. And here's our book. And if you want to, you could staple it together. If you have a stapler, tape it together and how, however you want. But it's hat on a rat, pirate hat on a rat, and cap on a rat, soft hat on a rat, top hat on a rat, and party hat on a rat. So go ahead and make your book and please send a picture on Dojo. Or please send us a picture. You can send it to Miss Katie Stone, I'm sorry.
go ahead and send us a picture because we need lots of pictures. And I have one more activity here. It's called Learning Game 142. So for this activity, parents, you're gonna need some ice cube trays, which I know we sent some of those home. And I'm gonna try not to make a big mess here. So you need a couple of ice cube trays. And if you have something that you can freeze in the ice cube tray, Miss Becky just picked some grapes today, but this is a really fun science experiment. And it's also a way to talk about solids and liquids. So I'm gonna get everything together here and bring you down so I can try to show you this. And out of there. Okay. So I have two ice cube trays here, friends. And I'm going to pour some water in my white ice cube tray here. Okay. You see how it looks like a liquid? Yes. So then I'm going to take my grapes here. And you can use anything you have in the learning game. They suggest raisins, but you can use anything. And I'm going to put my grapes in my liquid friends. Can you see them in there? And when I touch it, it feels watery. All right, so in my other ice cube tray, look, I already have some ice cubes that are frozen. They're solid. See what they feel like? And I already have in here an ice cube. And look, the grape is frozen in there. Can you believe that? It turned into a solid and the grape's in there. So I have a couple of frozen grapes. So I'm going to take my bowl here and put them in my bowl. Can you see them all in there? They're all in there. And this is what happened after I froze these grapes, or, or if we freeze these grapes, they'll turn into a solid grape. What would happen if I start pouring water in you? Yeah, can you see how it all starts melting? And look what happened to my grapes. They came out of my ice cube tray. There they are. Isn't that really neat? So if you're at home, go ahead and try this and let us know what you think of that. Move that stuff down there for now. Okay. So that's all I have for right now, friends. I hope everyone has a really good day today. If you need anything, just let us know and I'll see everyone soon. Bye friends.